We have seen Marvin Hagler in many instances uh, destroy people, but my goodness, this was a show and a half. And destroy. I told him at the press conference, I'm mean and lean. I'm looking forward to Tommy Hearns as my next opponent. And then hopefully for now, maybe the Sugar Man to come out. That's what I'm looking for. Right now, I want to give him an official challenge after I finish with Hearns. I'm hoping that maybe even if it's a non-title fight, some way if WBC and WBA approve of it, and he can name his own price. Marvin, you had said uh, earlier that you thought Manny Stewart and uh, Thomas Hearns might be doing a little scouting today. You didn't want to give them too no, much I didn't want to, to give them at. nothing. You know it. And they were. They were scouting. You know I didn't believe too much about that Mickey Goodwin thing, but this was a better opponent for me to get ready for Hearns, a very serious contender, and I felt very good. First of all, I'd like to thank God for giving me the courage and the strength, and also for, to my new baby daughter. Yeah, how about Sherelle that? Monique. Oh, that's Just terrific. For you, we, baby. Had, we had a picture of her and had a chance to see her. She's beautiful. Let's take a look at the first knockdown. Uh, give you a chance to see it, Marvin. I was very sharp. I felt very good. I trained very hard down to Provincetown End. I had a lot of uh, potent punch on that. And uh, once I had him hurt, I wasn't going to let him back off the hook. He seemed to sting you a little bit, though, in the first 15 well, seconds. Well, I like so that. I wanted him to come to fight. Okay. I expected that. I had three tough, south, uh, three tough sparring partners down there with me that got me in the type of shirt, shape that I'm in and the quickness. And that was down in my Provincetown training camp. Here's the finish of it now. We'll have a chance to see the, the fight stopped as a result of literally punishing the man. I was glad that they stopped it right there because there was no way I was going to stop him. This man's in there to take something away from me. I was glad that I opened up very good here at the uh, Atlantic, Atlantic City here because I've never been here before and I just couldn't leave it to the judges. Marvin, I know, and of course, uh, we've been friends a long time. You waited a long time for your chance. You waited 50 fights to get a chance to fight for the title, and I know you are proud, and you're going to be a tough guy to take it away from. I'm happy, but I'm not satisfied. And I got a lot of work to do, and I'm hoping that I can fight all the champions out there to show them where I, I belong in the standards of the world, and then hopefully from there, maybe to retire or whatever. But I want to fight Benitez and the Durans and the Lennons and the Hearns just to show that my true ability, that I am a true champion. Marvin Hagler, congratulations. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Hello, baby. <laughs> All right, coming home. Marvin Hagler retains his middleweight championship of the world, knocking out Caveman Lee 106 first round here in Atlantic City.